Hello, people. Today, I'm going to address to the English-speaking people and Portuguese-speaking people to point some words that sounds funny for us Brazilians, Portuguese-speaking people. First word is food. Food. For us Brazilians, food sounds like fod. Fod. Which means fuck. Can you imagine that? When you, Americans, English people, say food, for us, sounds like fuck. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, grocery. Grocery. That word sounds like us, sounds for us, as the word grosseria. Grosseria, which means being rude. Being rude. So, when you say grocery, grocery shopping, for us, sounds like being rude at shopping. <laughs> the word legal. Legal, it's very interesting because legal means the same thing for us, legal, which means inside the law, legal, legal, but also legal means for us, in Portuguese, being nice, being nice. You can see? That's different. That's interesting. Now the word made. Made. Uh, in, in two ways, né? made, there is the, the word made, which does the past tense of make, and made, the word that means someone that works at home, né? doing chores at home. So, as I was saying, the word made, that means the, the people, the, the person that works at home doing chores, sounds like made, né? the past tense of the verb make. So, made and made, it sounds the same in English and sounds the same in Portuguese. Made, the verb, is criada, criada which means to make something, right? to have something made. And made, criada, the person who works, the, the, uh, the domestic employee, it sounds the same in Portuguese and in English. Made and criada, the same thing, means the same thing. That's funny. Now the word store, 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 when you say story in English, sounds like for us story, story, which means blow up, blow up or explode. So <laughs> when you say in English, I'm going to a store, for us, Portuguese speaking sounds like um, I'm going to explode something, <laughs> store, story. And the last word uh, was one of my favorite funny words in, for English comparing to Portuguese. It's play. To play, the verb to play. Because uh, in Portuguese we have four different verbs for the different meanings of play in English. So uh, you have, uh, for instance, in English, play with a toy. Play with a toy. We say brincar. Brincar. Brincar, it's a verb, brincar, that means play with toys, for example. Then there is play a sport, play a game, play soccer, play uh, tennis, play wherever. And for us we have the word jogar, jogar, that means play in case of a sport or, or a game. And there is the word play in a play. Né? Play in a play, play in a movie, play a character. So we have the word atuar, né? ou representar, which means né? play, act. We ha in English, we have act too. But uh, for us, the, 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 the interesting thing is the, the use of to play for uh, acting, for acting. And last one is play an instrument play guitar, play drums. In Portuguese we have tocar. Tocar means play an instrument. 
though that's interesting that's funny um, and I remembered something tocar means also in Portuguese to touch to touch so we don't say to touch an instrument we say tocar an instrument as meaning play well that's the words we have for today I thought uh, that would be interesting for English people, uh, English speaking people and Portuguese speaking people to get to know these different words that's, that's uh, use of words that have sounds that are different in both languages. That's funny. It's a funny thing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next one, share this one, like and subscribe the channel. Bye bye.